Welcome to the Refuge Podcast, where we cultivate our faith in the shelter of God's Word. I'm your host, Jennifer Elwood. Today, we are in Chapter 12 of Counting Up to Christmas, 24 Gifts from the Gospel of Luke, and we will receive the gift of God's care. So if you haven't yet, read Luke 12, come on back and contemplate this verse with me. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Luke 12, 32 ESV. Have you ever received an unexpected gift that defied the usual boundaries? For me, one particular di gift didn't come at Christmas time. When I went to Israel in 2018, I discovered my friend Doreen, a licensed tour guide, had given me a new name, Jenny Swift, or Swiftly for short. This thoroughly delighted me. I have asked her so many questions over the years about birds in the Holy Land. When I went in 2015, I discovered that migrating African swifts graced the Western Wall from spring to summer. I had to see them. So I centered the timing of my 2018 visit around their migration, hence my fantastic name change. Swifts give us a beautiful analogy of God's great love for us, his little flock. The lessons I've learned from these birds help us open the gift of God's care. Once the phenomenon of Swiss, Swifts sparked my curiosity, I looked up every instance of birds in the Bible. Psalm 84 brought fresh revelation to my mind. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young. A place near your altar, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Psalm 84, 1 through 5 in the NIV. <clears throat> I realize the place described in this psalm is an actual place. At the Western Wall, the location Jewish people revere as the presence of God and the closest place they can pray to the Temple Mount, relentless chirping emanates. Sparrows, doves, and pigeons, and in certain seasons, swifts flit around. Little nests are tucked in crevices everywhere. God's care provides everything for our swifts, represented by swallows in scripture, they need. They live in close they live as close to the Temple Mount as they can get. They sang for joy to the living God to have their home and keep their young near his altars. God also sends dedicated humans to help them. Conservation groups exist in Israel during the birds' habitats remain as untouched as possible. Isn't it amazing that God cares for us even more? I love that something as simple as a bird's nest on an ancient wall can illuminate God's care in our lives. The words surrounding Jesus' comment about us as his little flock tell us how we should receive this care by avoiding the anxiety that we let perch in our souls. So let's apply this truth. Looking up the following verses in Luke and write down, or actually, I'm just going to read them to you. <laughs> the primary truth in each. So you can just uh, contemplate that as I read. Luke 12, 22. Then Jesus said to his disciples, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or about your body, what you will wear. Luke 12, 28. Is that how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire? How much more will he clothe you? you of little faith. Luke 12, 31, but seek his kingdom and these things shall be given to you as well. Luke 12, 33, sell your possessions and give to the poor. Provide purses for yourselves that will not wear out a treasure in heaven that will never fail, where no thief comes near and no moth destroys. And the last one, Luke 12, 34, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. As we enjoy the Lord's care today, let's be diligent to imitate the birds. Remain in God's presence. 
sing with joy to the living God and instruct people around us with his word. In this way, our waiting in heaven nest egg is truly secure. Our prayer for today is this. Lord, we praise you for your sovereignty over everything on the earth and for the examples of your love for us in nature. We are grateful for the great care you lavish upon us. Help us open and receive the gift well every single day. In Jesus' name, amen. I recommend listening to a song that may or may not be familiar to you. It's called Carol of the Birds. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And here is your Christmas quietude prompt. Meditate on one of today's verses or just in how God shows that he cares for you. And ask God to remind you of the extravagant care he's shown you. And so if you're journaling, write down something that he reveals to you, or if you are working or driving around, um, just think about and ponder with the Lord what that memory is. <laughs>